We get to our spend a lot of time learning scales and diagrams and shapes of different things, but at the end of the day, you know some shapes. <laughs> you might not really know where the notes are on the fretboard. It still remains a mystery to us if you don't know what you're actually playing. You're just playing a shape. So to really master the fretboard, here's, here's a little secret. Did you know that if you just lay your four fingers across one fret apart, did you know that all 12 chromatic notes are in there somewhere without moving around a whole lot? You don't have to go up and down the neck. You've got all 12 chromatic notes right there. Now, if you've never thought of it that way before, here's a little exercise you can do to really master the fretboard. Uh, got a little fret diagram with all the notes on it. You can download this in the description below. I'll put a link. And what I want you to do, go find a jam track. Shameless plug, you can look at this channel for some if you want. Go find a jam track and whatever chord your song is playing. Just let your hand rest on the guitar somewhere. Look at that fretboard diagram. Figure out what three notes are in that chord. If it's a major or minor chord, it's only gonna have three notes. It's a triad. If it's a major seventh or a seventh chord, it's gonna have four notes in it. You can figure out what those notes are in that chord and look for them. So let's say, oh, my hand landed on the seventh fret and my song is in G. Well, I look, there's a G. I, I know that there are three notes in the G chord and you can count up, you know, major chord has the one, the three and the five. So you go G, A, B, C, D. So you want G, B, and D. There's a G, there's a D, there's a B right there. Now, song changes to D. Hmm, what are those notes? Well, we've got D, F sharp, A. Well, I know that a G is right here, so I can just move that down one uh, right here. I've got a D, already had the D, and then right above it, I have an A. There we go, I got the triad, I got the chord. I went from G to D, and then the next chord is C. Well, uh, I can move back up here to that G, because I know C, E, and G are in the C chord. So there's that, I go up here, that's, that's an E. So I got G and E, I need a, a C, there's one right there. And look, I didn't move from that seventh fret. Every note in the chromatic scale is contained somewhere, anywhere on the fretboard, under your four fingers. Now, if you play along to your favorite song, preferably something that's slow that you can keep up with and that doesn't have too many changes at first, you can practice this. You may not be able to make an open chord or strum a rhythm, but if you're trying to learn the fretboard. This, this is a great way to do it. And you can also just arpeggiate on those chords. So especially if you have an electric and you're wanting to jam along, you can. It's a fun sound. You can let them ring and you're gonna wind up learning the fretboard. And then just, you know, once you get it in that fret, move it randomly somewhere else, figure out where those triads are and before you know it, you will master the fretboard. Keep playing.